Dear Brady, while it's difficult to summarize what three years with you has felt like in just a few moments, it's even harder for me to show you what forever will look like. One thing I have no doubt in my mind, you are the one I want to live my life with. Israel, the day we met, I was confused when you enthusiastically told me that someone gifted you a pretzel. I didn't know at the time this would be the first conversation I'd ever have with my future husband. I remember thinking you were charming and nice and admittedly cute. Little did I know when we shook hands that night, it would be the very best ride of my life. I'm not crying. You're crying. You're crying. <laughs> I'm crying. You look so good. Oh my God, this looks so great. I love you so much. I love you. As a kid, I remember being told that God had someone special waiting for me out there. Someone who would love me, someone who would remind me that I'm special, and someone I could live my life with. From that night on, I would occasionally look out my window in the sky and wonder if my person was thinking about me too. I would pray that God would keep, uh, keep you safe for me, that he would bless you, and that you'd be the most amazing woman I'd ever met. Dumb Sparrow Sparrow means, while I breathe, I hope. Brady, you were my one I kept breathing for. You were the one I hoped and prayed for for all those years. As we grew together, falling in love with you was seemingly so easy because it's you. The little nuances of your gentle hand points, soft kisses, and warm embraces touch my very soul. You're the man who makes my life so much sweeter. Thank you, simply put, for being you. The man who really is my better half. Anyone who knows Brady knows that she is one of the most grounded and level-headed people you'll ever know, and her heart is so big. Israel, you make one of the best first impressions I know of anyone I've ever met, and I can tell he is the perfect person that God placed in your life for you to love and to love you so wholeheartedly right back. See, I didn't know when or where this would all take place, but I knew it was going to. The first day I met Israel, there was something about him. I came home and told Barbie, I think I just met our future son-in-law today. I know no other way to explain how I knew, except that God told me, and I'm so grateful to him for that. And now, after three years of waiting to tell that story, I finally got to you all. You remind me that in a world filled with hurt that love perseveres through it all. I promise to walk with you through all adversity, trials, and obstacles we may face together. 
and of utmost importance, I promise you while there is breath in my lungs that I will hold on to and never let go. I love you forever and always, my dear sweet Brady M. I do now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. One of my favorite things that Israel does is whenever Brady walks away, no matter the situation, he smiles and says, man, I love that woman. Israel, never stop that. All of us in this room have seen that spark since the very beginning with Brady and Israel. And tonight, we see the fire. Israel and Brady, may the flame burn long and sparks continue to fly.